There it is, Andy. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. What? So what do you think's up there? Domino's? Popper John's? Little CZ's? First of all. I'm not Andy. I'm Roberta. And second of all, it's pizza, not pizza. Ah, you want a piece of my pizza. Well, you just had to ask. Oh, no. Listen, there's pizza and pizza. One of them is a historic landmark in Italy, and the other is pizza. Two different things. Ah, so you want a piece of pizza from the Terra Pizza. Pizza. What? Stop it! This tower's over 850 years old. I highly doubt there's a pizza place at the top of it. 850-year-old pizza? What? I don't think I want a piece of pizza from the tower of pizza. Pizza. Oh, no. Wait. This tower's actually pretty interesting. The Leaning Tower is located in the town of Pisa in Italy, a small town of about 90,000 people in the beautiful region of Tuscany. The tower stands on a grassy field known as the Square of Miracles and was built for a special reason. In the 1100s, Pisa was a rich and powerful city. To demonstrate their wealth to neighboring places, they wanted to build a religious complex. Their plan included a cathedral, baptistry, cemetery, and a bell tower. But the building plans didn't go as they thought they would. Oh no! Now, it's an incredibly popular tourist destination. It costs about 18 euros to enter, and is visited by more than 5 million people a year. What do you mean it's crooked? It looks perfectly straight to me. Um, tilt your head. The other way. The other way. The other way. Oh, it is kind of crooked. I wonder how it got like that. What do you say we find out from some of our biggest fans? That was a ceiling fan. Yeah, sorry, I must have downloaded the wrong video or something. Here, let's try another fan. How many videos of fans do you have? Enough! Can we get back to learning about the tower? Oh, fine. So tell me, what's the deal with the lean? I was waiting for that question. Work started on August 9th in 1173. Before the tower was built, there was already a cathedral nearby. Then, a woman named Donna Berta di Bernardo gifted 60 silver coins to the cathedral so they could purchase some stones for a foundation that would one day be a church bell tower. The original architect of the tower is still a mystery, but once construction began, the builders almost immediately had problems. The tower site sat on soft ground, made mostly of clay, fine sand, and shells. In fact, the Tower of Pisa isn't the only leaning tower in the area, as there are a few other less famous leaning towers too. By the time the builders finished the second floor in 1178, the tower was beginning to lean. In an effort to sort of fix the tilt, every story of the building is slightly taller on the short side of the tower, in an attempt to compensate for the lean. Because of this, the tower is curved, like a somewhat straight banana. Soon, construction was stopped for almost a hundred years, as Pisa fought in wars with nearby places. In the year 1272, work resumed, with the goal of fixing the lean, and building it up to its seventh tier. Although the tower still leaned a bit, they reached the seventh floor in the year 1284. Finally, the eighth floor was finished by 1372, and seven bells were installed at the top of the tower. The tower took nearly 200 years to build, and because it took so long, many different builders, engineers, and architects were involved. At its highest point, it reaches nearly 186 feet. That's about half as long as a football field. And with over eight floors and 269 total steps to reach the top, it would take someone 30 minutes to walk to its summit. The tower is mostly made of white marble that, in total, weighs over 14,000 tons. What? That's almost as heavy as 90 Statues of Liberty. Because the tower is known worldwide for its lean, 
No one wants to actually fix it. They just want to stop it from collapsing. And in 1990, the bells were removed to pull some weight from the tower. And in 1993, counterweights were added to the tower, which did straighten it out slightly. Also, soil was removed from under the foundation of the raised side of the tower to level it slightly. These efforts reduced the tilt by 17 and a half inches, and experts believe that the tower should stand for another 300 years. But the tower was almost destroyed during the height of World War II. At the time, American soldiers had orders to tear down any and all buildings in Italy that could serve as lookout points for enemy snipers. And the Germans, who were occupying Italy at the time, did often use the tower as a lookout. But luckily, when the Allied forces arrived, they were so impressed by the beauty of the Leaning Tower of Pisa that they decided not to destroy it. Destroy it? Not on my watch. You're not wearing a watch. Fine, then not on my... really hairy wrist. Got a new freckle right there. Should probably get that checked out. What? Well, luckily, this tower isn't going anywhere. It'll be around for many years to come. You know what? This tower is actually pretty cool. Well, I bet you it has a ton of fans. Don't do it. Really, really big ones. Don't do it. From all over the world. Don't do it. Gigantic ones. Don't do it. That's big. No. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Did you see my super secret hidden coupon code in this video? <laughs> of course you didn't. It's hidden. You'll never find it. But if you do, you can get money off of my merch. So try to find it. I dare you. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel going. They got to see this video a full two weeks early and get their names in this video. So I suggest you join my Patreon and you can get your name in my next video too. Special thanks to you, Sammy Osef, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Liam and Evelina, Laser Rosen, Zane and Asher Davis, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Stephen McVie, Bennett and Sarah Beth, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Callum G, Asher Evans, Lucas Ouellette and Family, GC, Lawson Randolph, Millie Fennell, Luke Raposa, Rebecca Beanie, Jason the Kid Parker, Evan Lee, Jasper Soros Rex, Maddie and James, Elias Mark Turner, Wesley C, John Arthur and Alice, Julian Jackson and Jacob, Sadie Mae Miller, Sophie and Remy Keffer, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Harper Benson, Toothless and Light Fury, Noah Whitman, Jakey Jake, Gregory Shaw, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Edward, Mr. Fast, and Mr. Red, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Connor LeCoke and Family, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Erickson and Alexander L, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy, and Pepper, Lawrence from Canada, Silas M, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Kuchan115, CL and Django Henry, Sam B and his mom from Tennessee, Asher Machado, Alexander, Julian, and David, Jackson Bear Welch, JJ Schmidt, Burning Wick, Kathan and Callan, The Rivard Boys, Benjamin M, Bodie Turner, Ada S, Jack Hartzler, Penny and Liam Drury, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Christopher F, Kellen, his mom Rachel, and his pup Link, Liam, Basil, and Louie, Connor Higgins, Olin, Oshi, Gavin and Hayden Huggin, Creed of Devin and Zach T, Philip and Anna Buckley, Laney, Maddie, and Henry, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher Crawford, Virginia and Harrison Way, Ben and Ollie, Jameson, Nolan, and Lily, Max and Kaz, Gavin Meidel, Jonathan, George, Chesselton, Kent, Connor and Emma Beattie, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Sam and Eddie from London, Max C, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Zyla, Lava Liam, The Puffin Boys, Charlie Stone, Lennon, McCockney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Teddy and Josie Burke, Xavier Freeze, Riker Smith. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video. I just said that. And you can see my videos early. You can pick my next topic. You can do lots of stuff. So please join. Thanks for watching, guys.